Good morning, magic lovers. And people who like to play magic, I guess, before work. All right, we're gonna continue our climb. What we hope is our climb with our Holen's Jeskai Walkers deck. If you don't remember, this is the deck with a ton of three mana Planeswalkers. We got Mu Yanling, Narset, Dovin, Teferi, Royal Scions, all there, ready to have a blast. Topping it off with our boy Sarkin, who's gonna turn them all into 4-4 dragons to crush our opponent. Let's get in there. I'm not sure about our sideboard. I have constant questions about that, but that's okay. That's why we play. We learn something. Traditional standard play. No. Traditional standard ranked. Yes. Excellent. I fussed with the sound settings a little bit this morning, so we'll see if it uh, works out okay. I don't hear myself as well in my headphones this morning. I don't know if that's normal or what. But it looks like it's recording on the thing, so all good. Got some coffee. It's a cold and rainy morning here this morning, so... Cold and rainy. All right. Uh-oh. Did we hit the bug? Sometimes there's a bug where when you search for a game, uh, you don't find a game. We'll give it We'll give it to a minute. If not, then we'll just... Uh, oh, good thing I didn't quit out. <laughs> I was ready to quit out. All right. So look, they have a Chandra. So I did Chandra as my planeswalker to kind of do a little trick them thing. I'm like, okay trick them into thinking that I'm a, a red mage, like I'm a red aggro, mono red aggro. Okay, so this hand is pretty decent. I don't know what my opponent is. If he is mono red, this is a bad hand. But if he isn't, this is great. I mean, we do have the interplanar beacon. We do have Teferi. We have some Mystical Disputes. We're going to keep all of this stuff. Plus, we get to go first. We'd really like to find... Well, we'll see what we find. All right. So three lands, Teferi, Mystical Dispute... Oh, it looks like we're going to go against a Bant. A Bant list. So let's get this Plains out there, just so we don't forget to play it later, which I have done. The question is, what do I counter? So, let's see. Comes into play tapped. Okay, good. I'm into that. Let's just get this Narset down since they are, they love to draw cards, so, and I don't want them to draw cards, so here we are. And I will take Sark in here. I think I gotta turn up the audio, this sounds a little quiet to me. There we go. So let's see what our opponent's got cooking now. Down comes his Teferi, alright. It's too bad. <clears throat> it's too bad. So let's Narset again here. Let's get another Narset because we're holding a Teferi. We'll play out this island. And we'll play out this Teferi. And honestly, I think I'm just plussing Teferi here. I have so many cards right now. It's I think it's fine. It's completely fine. Night of Autumn? What is happening? I mean, maybe it doesn't matter, because we're going to um, make a dragon. Well, shoot, a dragon doesn't even help me, does it? I think we just kill his fairy with our Sarkin. Play out the Sarkin. Get our dragons. Get rid of this. And then bounce the Knight of Autumn so he can't uh so he can't deal with any of my planeswalkers here. Ooh, Elspeth Conquer's death is good. We've had a really good game so far. <laughs> oh wow. Nice. Man, that went exactly according to plan, basically. We we got down our three mana planeswalkers, we locked him out of instants, we locked him out of drawing cards, and we just said, hey, it's done. I actually don't know what his deck is. Um I mean, he is green blue, so in come the Ether Gus, and probably in come the Dovin's Vetoes, because he's going to be probably looking to get rid of my stuff. So we probably take out the Bone Crushers. Um, I think in these matchups, we've been taking out Muyan Ling, since she is. Um, she doesn't. They don't typically have a lot of creatures for me to deal with. Again, I might just be misjudging the deck. I was surprised by the Knight of Autumn in the main deck, but. Now I got to take out two more. And I think we've been taking out the Dovins. I think that's right. Elspeth Conquer's death is really good. 
Let's take that out. Let's take... Uh, eh. I mean, he's going to have... Ooh, the Deafening Clarions. I almost screwed that up. We want the Deafening Clarions out as well. So that means we can leave in... Did we have something else that we'd want to keep in? Oh, we'll put in the Legion War Bosses to put some pressure on our opponent. Okay, sweet. I think this is the right... I think this is the right changeup. Without really knowing what he is, right? All I saw was a Teferian Knight of Autumn. That's it. All right, here we go. Waiting on your opponent. Can't complain too much about this opening hand, so we're gonna keep it. All right, and our opponent plays a Breeding Pool. I will be putting my Temple of Triumph into play first. Let's scry, and we find a Sacred Foundry. That's five mana. I think we gotta put this on the bottom, though. We're very likely to draw a fifth land, and this deck doesn't really need more than fifth land, five lands. So, plus we have another card draw with Teferi. So I feel pretty confident here that we're going to make it up to Elspeth Conquer's death at five. Oh, and what's our opponent going to do? What are you going to do, opponent? We'll just keep this Aether Gust up. If he growth spirals here, do I Aether Gust the growth spiral? Ay ay ay. I don't think so, but I'm tempted to give me more time. It slows him down some. This could be on a Nissa though. Let's save it. Let's save it for now. As much as I am nervous about it. Out comes Teferi from our opponent. Oh, oh wow. That's really great for us. Oof da. Oh, actually, shoot. So next turn's the Nissa turn. I think I have to keep Ether Gust up for that. Or do I just get to Fairy down? Do I get the Royal Scions down? This is tricky. Cuz if the Nissa comes into play, Let's look at my options here. If Nissa's coming down next turn, I could hold up the Aether Gust, and it's just going to go back on top of his library, which is just a very temporary solution. Play the Royal Scion. I think we play the Royal Scions and look for our fifth land, I suppose. What are we going to get rid of, though? Narset? Narset probably isn't going to help me. Oh. Well, could just Narset right away. Ay ay ay. This is hard. Um... When in doubt, keep up Aether Gust? Probably not. Let's play the Royal Scions here. I'm a little uncer uncertain, but... Oh, he has a Mystical Dispute himself. Okay. Uh, and here comes... Ni oh, no, he doesn't have... Oh, my. Okay. Oh, that's really good for us. Holy cats, man. That's great. He doesn't have two green right now. What do I need? Two white. I've got two white, two red, and two blue, so let's... It doesn't kind of matter. It doesn't really matter what I go get. Go get another blue. I think we just play the Elspeth here, because we can recur it. See if our opponent has another counter spell. He might. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. I maybe should have just held up our Dovin's Veto. So, still no Nyssa, thank... <laughs> thank goodness. Thank the Maker. Narset, huh? Hmm. We still don't have that land, do we? Let's play out our Narset. We may have another counter spell. I mean, I'm fine with him continuing to counter these things. Okay. Alright. God, if we had that, I, I shouldn't have gotten rid of that land now in hindsight, because I could have had that and Dovin's Veto up. For Nissa. Okay. Ay vey, we'll never get a land, will we? We'll never get one. So now he's tapped out. I can't believe I made that. Ugh. Ay, ay. I guess we just an R set here. So 
we resolve the Narset. I think we just keep this at full right now. Since I don't want it to die and I need to be able to deal with this crisis. He does not want the Narset alive. Makes sense to me. Oh, that stinks for me. That stinks for me. Oh, come on. So... We can play our own Teferi here. Send the Krasis back, because he can't draw extra cards right now. Oh! <sighs> this is getting very frustrating. Well, sometimes, sometimes you make a mistake. Sometimes you think you're going to draw another land, and then you don't. So I'm have Anissa one time. That's pretty decent for me, at least. It's a lot of his. It's a lot of his stuff. Oh, he's rid of the Teferi. Oh, he's gonna bounce it. That's good for me. That's fine. Aye. So we play this right away, because I need to find a. F I need to find a land drop. Ugh! Come on. I mean, we still might be able to win this under the right circumstances, but this just stinks right now. This is the worst. Been on four lands for so long at this point. I still think it was right to bin that land. Trust me, I have a plan. Well, there's a land. Hey, Vey. He has nothing in his graveyard right now. It'll make my spells more expensive the next turn. That's probably okay. Let's get rid of his Teferi. Because I uh, do have stuff in my graveyard. That's good, so. Unfortunately, out comes the Hydroid Crisis. <sighs> Shoot. Aye. <laughs> so annoying. I feel like I should just quit, honestly. How many Teferis is this now? Oh, just two. Ugh, oh, man. I mean, we're not gonna quit yet, but boy, is that frustrating to deal with. So I think we're just getting the Royal Scions out. Yeah. They put pressure on the board, so. Let's do some looting. Oh, now I'm gonna get every land I've ever, I ha I've ever had, you know. Ay vey. So now it's in his graveyard. Still nothing. That's good. And his Teferi's going to be one turn behind being able to come back with the Elspeth. So that's good for us. How many Narsets do we have? Just one in the graveyard. Okay. And we actually can play our Elspeth soon. So that's pretty sweet. I mean, I guess we're just going to keep Aether Gusting this Hydroid Crisis back up, back up to his hand all the time. This guy has all the resources in the world. So if he can't beat me here, this is... Not a good sign for him, frankly. He has so much stuff. So much stuff. There's a Narset. Not that it helps me at all. Given the state of my hand right now. Let's loot. I just can't get rid of this thing. Um... Probably not the Narset, huh? Hmm. I'm not sure what to do here. I think we keep the Aether Gust. Dovin's Vetoes, I don't know if they're ever going to be valuable. Give that back to him. Keep pumping up this, the Royal Scions. That's our only hope, is to draw like um, 10 million bazillion cards from the Royal Scions, essentially. <laughs> Uh, Mentor's tapped. We can't do anything right now. Good, and it's Teferi. Missed. He doesn't get any value from that, from this thing, so that's good for us. 
How many is that? I got rid of one of his Elspeths, so... We knew, we knew this was coming eventually. Is he lucky from Teferi's? Uh, no, he only has two Teferi's. I suppose I've seen what... I've seen two Teferi's by now, right? Uh, this is pretty good for me, though. Attacking the Royal Scions, that's... Ideal, I think. He's probably gonna play this again, too. At least if I were him, I would play that right now. Yep. No surprises there. <laughs> Can we... <laughs> no, he's got 30 cards left, so no, we're not gonna be able to do that to him. There's Sarkin. We are very far from Sarkin winning this game for us, though, aren't we? We can kill Teferi with the Sarkin, though. Sarkin just dies to Nyssa. That really stinks, doesn't it? I think we just probably quit this one. I mean, we can plus and see what we get. To fairy, huh? Get rid of the Doan's Veto. Alright, let's get out of this game. We got a little unlucky that game. We missed all those land drops. If we had had our land drops, I don't know how far ahead we... If we would have been ahead... So do we want anything different? I really don't think so. I mean, this guy, hmm. These kind of deal and oh, do an okay job against Teferi. Like, do I want to be more aggressive? Do I even want to get rid of the Royal Scions? Are they too passive? Is Teferi? No, Teferi's great. I think we keep all this stuff. A lot of these cards are great. Like, we didn't see any mystical disputes of our own that game. I think we can win this. Just got a little unlucky that our opponent dropped the Teferi, had the Teferis at the perfect times. Like, we had a ton of cards. Um, we'll play first. Can't start with that hand. Um, I can start with this hand. And we'll put a Teferi back, I guess. And Foundry down. No, t no counter spells again, though, in our opening hand. What a bummer. Right, and show me the counter spells. Um, Royal Science is okay here. Okay, so our friend here is going to want a growth spiral. I'm going to get Teferi down right away to prevent a growth spiral and or prevent it, this from being countered. And we need land, so let's do this immediately. Well, that's not bad, honestly, but... It's a little too expensive for what I'm looking to do here. Yeah, kind of bad luck by me right now. So I don't think... I have to hope I draw land here. Are we going to get a mana, mana screwed again this game? Sure hope not. That would be a bummer. Okay. So we just got to keep our Dovin's Veto up here. We basically can't go, because he, if he plays a Nissa, we're just going to get completely squashed. Of course, we don't get our land drop. <laughs> um, I mean, I could play Royal Science here to look for lands, but if he has Nissa, we're just going to probably lose. Maybe we do it anyways, though. Nah, let's hold up our cards for the moment. Give our opponent a good game. We don't have and Dream Trawler. Okay. Let's get out of here. We lost. God. That's such a bummer. That was a very winnable match, too. But that's alright. We'll try again. That was very winnable. We just got mana screwed two games in a row. So, you know, you take it. You take it. You take it sometimes. That's the way it goes. Although, maybe that third, the third game, it probably wouldn't have even mattered, right? He ramped Growth Spiral, turn two, then Uro, turn three, then... So that brought him up to three mana. So he had two lands, three lands, four lands, five lands. And then, like, he had another growth spiral or something. He, he had a ton. He had so much mana in that game. Let's get into the next one. Um, this is probably okay, because we have Omen of the Sea. We can go search out a land. So we've got two lands here. I'll have to go fetch one right away. But then I've got two Teferi's Elspeth and Sarkin. So we'll hold on to this. 
If we don't find a land off this omen, we're in a little bit of trouble, but I'm confident we will. Our opponent's starting with six here, and he's got the Teferi as his Planeswalker. Oh, okay. I don't think I can... <clears throat> can I still play this? I mean, it makes me miss Omen of the Sea, so I think we... Huh. Doesn't matter. So it looks like our opponent played a black spell here. I really don't want to miss playing Teferi, so let's drop the Fabled Passage right now. It's a little scary, though. I don't know what my opponent's going to play here. Burglar Rat. Let's do this. Go get a blue. It's a little bad because I can't really even. Do I just get rid of a Teferi? I get rid of here. Probably keep the Elspeth. Let's get rid of this temple here. It's a little risky, but. Ooh, Muyan Ling. That's not a bad draw at all. Unless he has something insane right now. Hit me with your burglar rat. Midnight Reaper, okay, we're gonna omen. There's my island, there's my lands. I've just, I've been saying, where are my lands at? Ah, oh, pay two life. Do I just cycle the Teferi here to get rid of that Midnight Reaper? Pretty tempted to. Puts him behind a whole turn, I draw a card. I just lose the Teferi, but... Do I just Muyan Ling here? Put her up to four, she'll take two. Let's put out the Mu Yan Ling here. And you. Haha! -ha. Lose flying. I'm happy to have him put some shots on Mu Yan Ling instead of on my face. Ooh. Oh wow. The whole run out, huh? Interesting. So what do we want to do here? Probably going to play this tapped. We're definitely going to Teferi here. Right on Bounce one of these Midnight Reapers right on up out of here. I lose all my Planeswalkers to this. Oof. I think I lose all my Planeswalkers to this, right? Nope, because she'll go to four. So if I do this... If I do this, he's got... So I should do it here, right? Because if I do it here, he has to send three at one and one at the other one, and this will not kill Mu Yan Ling. If I do it here, then he can split two, one, and one, and that kills them both. Or that can kill the Mu Yan Ling, but not... Okay, it can't kill both. Um... Let's do this one. And then we'll just be playing another Teferi next turn. Hopefully he's just playing another his Midnight Reaper again next turn. Makes sense. We are very far away from... Oh, okay. I'm happy about that. Get this on out. Gobble, gobble, gobble. My Muyan Ling is going to die, but we are going to... Prevent the damage for one more turn. Protect ourselves for one more turn. Okay. So we still have to ferry. Ooh, that's a good card, isn't it? Well, so now I'm at ground zero here. We gotta play Sarkin. Got to get the dragon token. Hopefully this guy does not read passives. That's what we're really, really hoping for here. Ugh, that tells me that he can, uh... Tells me he might have removal here. I mean, he's mono black, so it's very likely that he's got some kind of removal. Please don't read the passive. Don't read the passive. Do not read the passive. Don't read the passive. Don't read the passive one time. So you can pump this one, two, three, one. So you can pump it one time. Plus three, plus three, get makes it only a four. Sure. If he wants to spend his whole turn doing that, that's fine by me. 
I keep Sarkin up. He uses most of his mana that turn. I'm gonna get... I get Muihan Ling back? She starts making 4-4s? Four That's pretty insanely good. And I have another Teferi in hand, so let's get Muihan Ling back. And loyalty. And I can play two Planeswalkers if I do this. So we do this. Bounce this. Play Narset. Look for cards. Teferi again, sure. We're gonna Muyan Ling here. This one. And now my opponent is pretty much dead. Wow, we're actually might pull this one out. Because he can't kill Sarkin this turn. Actually, it doesn't matter. I have another Sarkin. <gasps> oh my god, if he has a uh, <laughs> Elder Spell, that would be so funny. So he's going to hit the Sarkin. I don't know. Why the Sarkin? Then Elder Spell. All creatures, all Planeswalkers die, then plays Elder Spell. Can we win here? Actually, he's got to do something right now, because the Teferi is stopping him from playing any instance, so... Whatever he's going to do, he has to do right now. I think we got this one. I think we beat this one. So thinking about boarding, what are we going to board out? Probably the Narsets. Oh yeah, I don't care about that at all. Dragons are good. <laughs> All right, so our opponent. So Mystical Disputes come out. He's mono black. We get Ling is good here. Possibly the Narsets come out, although he does have cards that let him draw a lot of stuff. Would he sideboard in an Elder spell? Would he do that to me? <laughs> that sounds really scary. We'll put another Elspeth Conquers Death here. Put our Devout Decrees are great. I think that's it. Like, I could do the Dovin's Veto. I could do Heliod's Intervention. We could do the Shadow of the Skies. The Shadow of the Skies probably aren't that bad here either. What would we get rid of, though, for Shatter? Maybe Dovin. Maybe a Narset or two. She doesn't control the board. Let's take out a couple Narsets. Put in both Shadow of the Skies. Okay. We're going to go further into the control realm. See how this goes. All right. One lander, huh? Even though it's a good hand, we can't take one land. And now we've got one, two, three, four, five lands with Teferi and Royal Science. I'll keep this. And we'll put back a hollowed... Oh, actually, no. If I want to play Teferi on three, I'd better get rid of one of these. Or Royal Science on three, which I would like to, so. Ive. Uh, Omen of the Sea is good. I don't know, should I pay life to play this, though? Do I pay life to play Omen of the Sea? Maybe, because I probably want to find... Yeah, go ahead. He probably... Yeah. I mean, he's going to take the Teferi. That being said, the Omen of the Sea is what finds me a board wipe. Smart. I, I actually... I really think that was a smart choice. I mean, now, if he doesn't have a 3-drop... Like, obviously, we're going to bounce this thing. Okay, he must have a 3-drop. He's going to just duress. That's fine. Royal Science is amazing here. Because he also cannot kill Royal Scions. Let's do this. Draw a card. Discard a card. Um, get rid of the Sacred Foundry right away. Is he going to pump it? Nope, he's not going to pump it. Okay. Midnight Reaper comes down. All right. Plus this again, see what we get. A normal planes, huh? Do I get rid of the steam? No, I need double red from the steam vents. Ah, uh, maybe I do. Let's get rid of the steam vents. Let's play this. <clears throat> and we'll go get a red here. Get a red source. And red. Jeez, where? 
we're flush with Bone Crusher Giants. Although if he spends all his mana killing this, that's pretty okay with me. It's actually quite okay. So which is what you'd have to do. Probably afraid to pump because if I have a bone crusher. Which I don't, of course. Although actually I could find one right now. Technically. Devout decree and a land. So we don't need the land anymore. Devout decree is just a strong, strong card. Okay, kills that. And that is his whole turn, so I feel pretty good about this. Especially considering we're just gonna Elspeth Conquer's death this thing. Although I'm going to take a lot of damage if he pumps this twice here, if he has another land. But maybe in the long run it's good for me. Because I'm going to, I'll take a bunch of damage, but in the long run, right, I'm going to get, um, oh, okay. Interesting, interesting. Deafening Clarion, huh? So we'll Devout Decree this. Uh, yeah, I'll take Dovin. Dovin's good. He gets me life, gets me blockers, and then we'll just clear the board here. And play a land. And now we're in a little trouble, although we are going to get a Planeswalker back, and we know we have Dovin coming. So actually, we're doing quite okay. And that was our opponent's turn, so that's great. Play a Burglar Rat. He didn't. <sighs> Teferi or Royal Scions? I don't have any cards in hand though, so let's Teferi here. Loyalty. Oh man, I didn't even think I'm so dumb. And by so dumb, I mean I'm so smart. All right, let's create the Thopter. Let's get this Omen of the Sea back in my hand. Wow, I am flush. Have I played a land this turn? I don't think so. So let's go looking for that land if we can find it. There it is, and there's the Narset. Great. And then we'll hold up this other omen. Uh, okay, so let's omen of the sea here. Yarx Fen Lurker is going to make me exile a card. I'm hoping to find a bad one. Yep, so we'll put the steam vents on top. Then he'll exile my land instead of any good cards. Okay, our opponent keeps drawing. And a plus again. I'll protect you. Let's Narset here, see if we can find anything good. Shatter the Sky. I think we just grab the Elspeth here. Play Elspeth's Sun's Nemesis. Make some 1-1s. One Make a 1-1. One one. Attack with the Thopter. So now Elspeth, we can actually start pressuring his life total with these Thopters, because they're all gonna, I'm gonna hit for six every turn. <sighs> Not gonna hit for six against that, am I? Ay ay ay. So let's first start with this. Start with the Narset. Ooh, does Sarkin win this for me? Yes, he does. Almost certainly. Plus, Dovin, no, plus, I'm pretty sure this is lethal. Because we've got 4, 8, 12, 16, plus another 6 over here to 22. Yeah, he's done. Dang, them planeswalkers are good though. Well. So we got a victory, although against another non-meta deck. I respect that. I respect non-meta deck players. Mono Black Aggro is a pretty... It's like a tier 3-ish deck. I don't know what tier ours is, but... Do we have time for one more? What time is it? 6.53. Let's do one more. Get in one more game. Let's see how it goes. See if we can beat one of these Uro decks, which I think we should be able to beat. 
Ready. Against Shobu. Shobu, show me something good, man. All right, and we will play first. We've been have we been getting lucky on the play first? Uh, so I would have a Bone Crusher Giant, but literally I'd have nothing else. If I drew a one blue, we'd be in amazing position. But let's mulligan this. Ay ay ay. I mean, we'll have two Bone Crushers, so we'll keep it. And I'll put back the Sarkin since I'm so far away from playing him. Just just let me find a land game. One time, let me find land. I really don't think I want to go down to five cards. Haha, watch this. It's me flexing, saying, I'm an aggro deck. My turn? Okay. Uh, that's good for us. That's great for us, in fact. Because <laughs> we need to find a land so, so bad. Omen of the sea, save me as you always do. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's see what our opponent has. He probably thinks so. The nice part again about playing an off meta deck is my opponent is probably thinking, okay, this is a Jeskai Fires list. But he is wrong. It's not. We're not Jeskai Fires. We're Jeskai all the other good stuff, you know? Uh oh, my opponent also apparently has a baby at home. Oh no! So this coming turn, we're hoping we find a land, and then the question is, is it Narset or Dovin? And probably almost certainly Narset. The other option is to hard cast out a Bone Crusher and just start hitting this guy in the face. Which maybe actually is the right play here. Okay. Looks like our opponent is gone. Deafening Clarion out of here. Oh, I kind of messed up. So he missed the land drop, so I think we're just going to get Bone Crusher right on the board and just start threatening him. Oh, so he's Esper. Yeah, I don't care about Thought Erasure. It really stinks for him that he missed a turn. <laughs> he had to read Dovin, that's funny. Yeah, he has to get rid of the Bone Crusher. Pretty, pretty, he pretty much is forced to get rid of the other Bone Crusher because if I play it, he's in big trouble. So we'll Temple, Sacred Foundry on top. We do need that card. We will Dove in here. I maybe should have played Narset, but I just kind of want to put pressure on the board, honestly. And if I keep, if I get to keep these Royal Scions, I'm gonna put even more pressure on him. So. Okay, Othkaya comes down, it's gonna hit the Bone, or Dovin. I don't know if you can afford to hit the Dovin right now, buddy. Like, are you gonna take another f five, six, seven here? Yeah, there you go, that is the right call. That is the right call. So now we're getting into card draw space, so I think I invest in, let's get a Royal Scions down. Let's make a Thopter. Uh-oh, wait. Which is the one with summoning sickness? Oh crap. Oh crap, it won't it actually won't tell me which was the one with summoning sickness. This one must be the one with summoning sickness. Enter the battlefield this turn. Okay, good. Let's keep pressuring his life total here. I want to get him low enough, so if we drop Sarkin, we can almost kill him. Okay, he did miss a land drop, so we actually... It's kind of, you know, too bad. Too bad whatever happened to him. So that maybe that'll cost him a game. He would add Othkaya one, one turn sooner. He's going to bounce that back. Okay. If we find a Sarkin, we're going to win. We did not find a Sarkin. That's okay. Huh, so do we just get rid- well, so we have to plus Dovin. Not just a gadget, but Am I just looting here? Well, let's... Let's Narset, see what we get. My prowess is on your prowess. 
So there's Omen of the Sea. So then let's play that. Let's play the Omen, see what we find. Ah, Mystical Dispute. Oh, he has Teferi out anyways, so I don't need any of those cards, either of those cards. Let's just give one of these plus two plus zero and trample. His life total is already pretty threatened, so let's just make sure he can't bounce stuff. So now he's really far away from bouncing things, and if we kill the Teferi next turn, then we have Mystical Dispute up, which is good for us since he's on... Oh, he's this four-color walkers... Oh, shoot! This is the four-color walkers deck, so he could totally have Elder Spell. Oh, that would just wreck me. Oh, that would just destroy me. It's a cool deck, though, four-color walkers. It is like it's probably the one deck that just by chance completely counters our deck because uh, just because we have so many planeswalkers, yeah, of course. Um, we may not quit honestly yet. I kind of regret not hitting his face, but yeah, the uh, the elder spell, the just by happen chance, this deck runs elder spell is like a counter to us, kind of, so. Alright, let's create some tokens. Um, Do I hit this so he loses it if he uses it? I think so. I basically want him to lose this card if he bounces his Oathkaya. And if he puts this back, well, we've got tons of it. We can just play it right away again, so that's not bad. Nuts. He didn't. Elspeth, son's nemesis. Uh, Sarkin, where were you a couple turns ago, buddy? I don't think this deck actually runs that many counter spells. Why do you not leave a blue open when I have Mystical Dispute? I guess it doesn't really know. It doesn't know all that stuff, does it? So I get in a lot more damage with the Sark in here if I do play him. Red, 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 white, blue. Let's try it. If he has a counterspell where he just probably lose. Uh, we don't necessarily lose, but definitely stinks for us. This maybe shattered the sky mana up. That's right, he has an instant. He has something he can play for sure. So we definitely don't plus the Sarkin. What we do is we... We threaten the Teferi. And in case any of these are targeted, I think we send everything at the Teferi. Ugh. You hate to see it. Let's make our dragon. Oh, although he can just bounce it. That's kind of a bummer, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, so we still have Mystical Dispute. I shouldn't have made the dragon. That was stupid. Well, although I'm just going to be plusing Sarkin here pretty soon. Yeah, him getting the Elder Spell. There's, I'm pretty certain that this deck only runs one copy of Elder Spell. And we, uh, we, he found it. He found it the game against us. The only other Planeswalker deck in the meta. <laughs> I mean, we're not even a meta deck, so. The only other Planeswalker deck in existence. He found it. So we're going to try and... Alright, let's get the hell out of here. <laughs> this sucks. What bad luck that he found that Elder Spell. Like I said, I'm pretty certain there's only one Elder Spell in the whole deck. I mean, there's going to probably be more now. So we Devout Decree. We Dovin's Veto. We do not Shadow the Sky. Get rid of Shadow the Sky. Get rid of Deafening Clarions. Legion War Boss is in. Elspeth Conquers Death is in. 
ether gust is no. And now we just got to start cutting basically some some of these some Muyan Ling probably out, um, Dovin probably out as well. This will be an interesting game. So now we've cut a substantial. Narset is still really good. So we keep her. Mystical disputes are still really good. Um, let's get rid of an Elspeth, Sun's Nemesis. I think we can win this with enough with enough controlling because we have the cards we need. Oh, our opponent though. That elder spell. Oh, I gotta go look right now and see. Um, let's go. MTG Goldfish standard paper. I bet it's in one of these top decks here. Um, I don't see it there, but I bet I'll find it in one of the top lists here. Although it might be referred to as Esper. We want to play first. Um, this is a good opening hand. We got lots of different stuff. We can get the Bone Crusher down nice and early if we want. We'll have the Omen of the Sea the turn before that. Unless we just hit him in the face with the Omen of the Sea. Is that worth it? I mean with the Bone Crusher? I'm tempted actually just to shoot him with the Bone Crusher here. We're smoothing out our draws better. Let's be aggressive here. Get out, Bone Crusher. Hope he doesn't have an Othakai right away. Wow, of course he does. Ugh, so frustrating. Now we're gonna miss land drops. Let's get another one out there. Well, it's not looking good, friends. Our opponent has just kind of had everything this game. Yeah. Yes, we are dead. Um, okay, so lands. Sure. I mean, there's no red there. We took the two. That's smart. There's also what I would have done. Let's get out the Legion War boss, I guess. Um, I think we're attacking with both here. He'll attack the Bone Crusher. Just hit face. Well, we almost certainly lost, because now we've missed a bunch of land drops. Oh, we'll see, though. He's got to deal with this board. We can maybe recover by playing an Omen of the Sea and Teferi and things like that coming up here. We do have Elspeth Conquer's Death. See if he boarded out his board clears. Well, I don't know. Maybe he did. Maybe we're actually okay here. Because maybe he can't deal with the war bosses. He actually doesn't have very good mana, a very good mana base right now either. I mean, he's holding a watery grave as well, but. Doesn't have too light. So if he is running Shadow of the Sky, which is possible. Although, where are my counter spells? Game, please. Please, game, please. Another Oracle, huh? D-Spark actually doesn't hit that much of my stuff, so that's sort of okay. Good, keeps the D-Spark. I guess we're just playing the Royal Science here on the Warboss. Still no let still missing a land drop again, of course. <laughs> We just gotta pressure him right now. I mean, we're probably we probably lost this game because we're pretty far behind already. But but he didn't have a board clear last turn, so he may not have one this turn either. Now it could be okay for us. Could be okay for us. Just thinking about what do I do about these royal scions? Uh, apparently, he can't do anything about the war boss at the moment, so that's kind of good for us. Oh, okay. 
Okay. Haha, -ha. three damage to the Royal Scions. Teferi, if he plays Teferi, that's kind of bad for us. Oh, God, he can gain so much life every time he plays a Planeswalker. So blue and white. So it's very incoming. I don't think... Oh, so apparently he has another... Let's play our own Teferi. And make him, if he wants to play, if he wants to play a spell right now, play it on his own. If he wants to play a board clear, he has to play it now. Yeah. So now let's loot. Come on. <laughs> oh my god. This game. So painful. I mean, we're probably going to lose my Teferi to an Elder spell, I suspect. This I can actually play, so I think I have to keep it. Um, God, I just feel like I can't get rid of this. Let's just get rid of... Well, Sarkin is a finisher. Let's just get rid of my other Teferi for now. Can I hit a land drop with this now? Thank you. Oof. Oofta. This was getting a little old. So our opponent has all the cards in the world. Holy cow, does he have cards? Okay, so he's gonna play that apparently, maybe? Apparently, maybe? Ugh, man, what a sad loss. This one was not fun. Again, another mana game, another mana problem game. I mean, maybe we should have played... I mean, the open of this seat wouldn't have even mattered, because look what our draws have been. Dovin's Veto, Bone Crusher. Did we start with the Sarkin? Like, I know we drew another Teferi. I know we drew another Bone Crusher. So he apparently has another board clear of some kind, but... Narset. I don't know if I care about Narset that much. So this leaves only two mana open for him going into this next turn. There's Nicole Bolas. Crud. So what are these three? Elder Spell, possibly? Oh, just Oath of Kaya. Okay. I mean, I pretty much have to get rid of this thing. You can just kill the Royal Scions with Bolas. But maybe that's fine. I think we just Elspeth here, get rid of his Teferi. Say goodbye to fairy. Goodbye to fairy. Goodbye Narset. Goodbye to fairy. It's really messing me up. Then let's loot. We're gonna get rid of this. Oh, I fucked up. <laughs> oh shoot. Ah, oh, rats. This is what happens when you get a little tilted, right? You do dumb things. Planeswalkers. They have passives, people. You got to pay attention to that. I tell you once, I tell you a million times. Yeah, he's just got me. Let's just get out of this one. This is over. It's game over. I mean, it was pro it's probably our worst matchup because this set of Planeswalkers is probably a little bit stronger than ours. And again, it runs the Elder Spell, so that's too bad. Um, No baby yet. I guess we can just keep on cruising until, until we get a little baby awake. That's fine by me. TGIF, you know. All right, let's see what our next one gives us. Yeah, I'm. I didn't find that list, but let me check it. Let me take a look. Let me check MTGA zone. I bet it's on there. Ooh, a bunch of new Ecoria cards are out now too. 
But if we go to Dex, Sandra Dex. Yeah, that first game where he had the, uh... That first game where he had it. Oh my god. Such a beating. For him to have Elder Spell. The first game. Grixis Control. That's definitely not it. Whatever. Um, yep. We'll start with this. This is good. Hallowed Fountain, Interplanar Beacon. We can go get a red. A red source. And then we have pretty much... We can play everything in our hand, so... The only downside to playing Fabled Passage is that my opponent obviously knows I'm not mono red if I play Fabled Passage, so he 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 has a guess, I'm sure, that I'm not mono red in this scenario. Oh no, here's the four okay, I found the four color walkers list. Pass. Oh, he just plays a tap land. Is this four color walkers as well? Is this deck did my deck get a hor all of a sudden horribly worse because of four color walkers? So let's get a red man out. play that out in turn so let's see maybe it runs more than one elder spell there's no way it runs more than one elder spell okay so sorceries actually normally yeah one elder spell in the main that's it that's the only elder spell the whole deck runs that is infuriating okay so what we're gonna do is just shoot his face if he doesn't want to you don't want to play anything buddy then suffer the consequences i think we have to go look for Actually, maybe just Royal Scions here. Start getting some value. Yeah, let's start Royal Scions thing. Maybe this is the path to beating this deck. What are we going to dump off? Probably... Let's get rid of Dovin. These Narsets are probably too good to not keep. Alright, what's our opponent going to play? To Fairy. I'm so... I'm so very surprised. Yeah, you can't interact with that, sadly. If he doesn't minus it, we are just going to play the Narset here. And probably not even minus the Narset if he doesn't... Uh... Oh, okay, he just wants to draw a card. We have so many Narsets. We have so many Narsets and no lands at all. This is really, again, another very infuriating game. That gives me four lands. Um... I guess we'll take Teferi. Does my opponent have a elder, the one Elder spell in his whole deck again? Is that what I'm gonna run into? Let's try hmm. this. Interesting. Well, there's a land. Let's start by drawing and discarding. Another land. I almost feel like I have to hold on to this. Do I get rid of the Narset? No, Narset's pretty strong. Sarkin is pretty good as well. I don't get rid of the Elspeth. Tempted to get rid of the Fabled Passage. What are the odds of me finding another land? I don't think we get rid of that, honestly. Let's get rid of the Bone Crusher. Let's activate this ability. I must stay thoughtfulness before action. Dovin, Narset. Dovin? Yeah, let's grab another Narset, actually. Now we play this. See what's next up for us. I don't think I want it. I'm going to see anymore. It's not going to do anything. So let's play this. Because in the event my opponent has an Elder spell. See what he's got. In the, in the event my opponent has an Elder Spell, I want to have a Diversified Threat. Diversified Threats on the board. Too bad, I, again, I did not find any counter spells. I'm 20 cards deep. None of my none of my counters have showed up. Okay. And Elder Spell for a million. Did he draw his one Elder Spell? <laughs> Probably. He's going to have it. They always have it. Fay of Wishes, so maybe this is not... Oh, actually, wait, this is Esper? So he could have. This is just straight Esper. Planar Cleansing, huh? Oy vey, boy, we really want that counterspell now, don't we? What is this? Do destroy all non-land permanents. Okay, so we gotta be a little careful. Wow, so actually we can just draw 10 million cards, can't we? Draw four cards when you do the Royal Science Seals. 
damage. Wow, so we're going to deal a lot of damage to his... Actually, wait a second. Is he dead? Let's do this. He's not dead, but... I have almost full grip here. Your face? One, two, three. He goes down to five. Oh! <gasps> Remember when I got rid of that, uh, that bone crusher? That would have won me the game. I'm so stupid. Actually, ooh, one, two, three, four, five. We still can win this if my if our opponent is bad. I messed this up. I should have tried to play a Teferi first. Okay. So you can destroy everything on the board. What does that do for me? Would that do anything for me? You can destroy everything on the board. With planar cleansing. Will he, though? So let's play out the Fabled Passage. Get a Plains. I guess we're actually just shopping for... Let's play out a Teferi. We're just hold we're holding out a Teferi, so... Do I plus or do I minus here to look for the counterspell? Oh, I can't even play the counterspell. Let's, mi let's just minus. If he wants to board clear, he's gonna board clear, right? We're just gonna dump off a bunch of lands here. Discard four cards, so Island, Steam Vents, Temple of Triumph, that's three. And the last one is going to be, we're holding two Narsets. I don't think Muyan Ling does anything this game. Although maybe we just get rid of the Elspeth because we can always cast from the graveyard. How many Moos are we holding? Two, we're holding two Moos, get rid of those Muyan Lings. <laughs> we're holding so many Muyan Lings. So now our opponent has a choice. He can clear this board. And if he doesn't, I think he dies. Ooh, although maybe not. Sarkin doesn't actually. So if he planar cleansings, I'm pretty sure we're just going to run out another Narset and another Teferi probably. Maybe a Muyan Ling even. So does he planar cleansing here? If he minuses... Okay, so he is going to Planar Cleansing. So let's play out the Beacon. Do I play out the... No, let's get out two Planeswalkers. So let's get out to Fairy. And then let's get out the Narset. Take another Teferi. Let's just plus this Teferi for now. I don't really need a lot more cards in hand at the moment. I don't know what I'm saying. Why would I say that? Of course I need more cards in my hand at the moment. Does he have another Planar Cleansing? How many Planar Cleansings can one man have? Dream Trawler. Can we kill him is the question. Yes, we can. Beautiful. So Sarkin. He doesn't know about the Sarkins yet. <laughs> and then we just say, bounce this. Good thing we didn't minus this Teferi earlier. We would have regretted that. And it doesn't matter. It's over now. Because either you get bounced or you do this. We do this. It was a good game. It was pretty tight, I guess. Protect me, Teferi. Don't let him play any instants. Okay, what are the uh, what are the odds that he keeps elder spells in the sideboard? Low or high? So take out the deafening clarions. He's pretty slow, right? 
So let's put in the war bot. Let's do this packaging, even though I feel like I have horrible luck with this passage package. And we'll put in the Shadow of the Skies as insurance against the Dream Trawler, although maybe I don't need to. We'll take out one Dovin. Oh, I want these Vetoes probably too. So take out the Dovins, take out the Muyanlings. Okay. This is my package. Don't know. Don't know if I love it. We'll see. Man, those, uh... Royal Scions. I take it all back. I should have never... I never should have never spoken ill of the Royal Scions. So, Mana Nyx, huh? He's looking. He's going for it. Oh yeah, that guy. I'm still I'm still a little salty about that, about him getting the one elder spell in his deck. Ay vey. It's so that deck we were against is a four color like planeswalker control deck. And it's mainly Esper, so it's blue, white, black. And it runs just a few lands with red and the interplanar beacons, because mostly planeswalkers, so it can put in Nicole Bolas, the Nicole Bolas planeswalker. So it's super fun deck. But it runs one one elder spell that le would let you, right, if I play, if I, let's say I have seven mana, play Nicole Bolas, let's say I have some Planeswalkers out there, I can Elder Spell the other creatures, my other Planeswalkers, bump up Nicole Bolas to his win ultimate, and then, like, win the game, like, instantly, a one-turn win, basically, if your opponent isn't being careful. So it's not really meant to be a Planeswalker control element, but boy, did it Planeswalker control me, so here we are. All right, waiting on your opponent. Sarkin's Elspeth Conquers Death. We didn't even put in more Elspeth Conquers Death. Maybe we should. He probably has a lot of targets for this. Hmm. I'd love to see. I'd love to have a good Legion War boss game. So this is one of those hands that I really hate to keep, but we're going to keep it. Play this because we can mystical dispute a discard spell if we want to no discard spell okay well there's another land so that's good for us let's play the this puts me behind although maybe it doesn't honestly I think I'd rather be able to play the omen here and if I have to mystical dispute this turn I will especially like a fairy or something like bye bye all right, and here comes Teferi. Oh, here comes Narset. No. That cannot be allowed. These are going to really help me a lot in this early game. Okay, we'll play a blue mana. I know I've got Mystical Dispute again for some stuff and Omen. We've got both spells this turn, so that's great. What? A golden egg? What's happening here? What's going on here? A blast zone, huh? Oh man, put this to three, you'll really get me. Most of my permanents are three mana, so, you know. Hey, how about you up your blast zone to kill my omen of the sea? Do you think you can counter an omen of the sea here? Probably not. What's happening? Is it just holding for this? No way. It's gotta be holding for our friend as a counter spell or something, like a Dovin's Veto or something like that. Not really sure. What's happening? Man, my baby. Man, my baby's sleeping late today. Holy cow. 7.30 already? Although, he does typically wake up with the light, so it just started to get light out. What is happening? So more lands, huh? Let's get rid of that. Let's keep this. So this would get me to five lands. That's all the lands this deck needs. Um, we do not have two red yet. We can go get a red. Uh-oh. Regrets. So we'll just hold up the Mystical Dispute here. And then if he doesn't do anything, we'll go get a red man and shoot him in the face with it. With a bone crusher giant. We might do that anyways, honestly, but. So our guy's at five mana. 
Just makes me a little scared. Or should I just crack the Omen of the Sea here? He actually might have um, that card that makes me sacrifice stuff, so... Um, what is it? I can't remember what it is. The black-white card. Let's go get a red. Take this. If you're not going to play cards, then get shot with a Bone Crusher Giant. You know what? I'd say I'm tempted to say wait on the Sarkin. Actually, if he counters this, this is great. So I could counter this, but I don't think I do, honestly. Well, I get to keep the Bone Crusher out. Why would he count? Why is he countering this? Is he dis is he desperate to let's let's counter this? I mean, Mystical Dispute, right, makes you pay three more. I'm possibly getting to the point where it's going to lose its usefulness, so I'm... Let's do this. Oh, I should have played the Fabled Passage. I'm so dumb. Yeah, he has no way to get rid of this right now. He has no, no mana, nothing like that. And we'll just make the dragon right away. So again, this is nice. Sarkin, okay, so the thing that I think I don't think I've said about Sarkin, but is actually really nice about him, is not only does he create a huge burst potential if you have a bunch of Planeswalkers, but he also just creates a diversified threat, right? He's a 4-4 attacker, you're a 4-4 attacker, right? And now he has to waste resources just killing a Sarkin, and I still get to have this 4-4 dragon. I mean, I'm tempted to just play another one, but... It'll depend on what we draw here. Could also play the Bone Crusher and just start scrying. Probably will throw out the Bone Crusher here. Oof, duh. Uh, so let's go pull a land out of our deck. We've got two red, two white, two blue. Okay, so we have two of every color plus the beacon. So let's go grab a white. That's fine. Let's play Narset. Do you have a counter spell? Actually, I actually have three extra mana, so I'd probably just pay it here if he mystical disputes. But he didn't, so that's okay. Dovin's Veto. Oh, oh yes. Oh yeah. Now we're just keeping up Dovin's Veto to lock him out. And then next turn we can play the Sarkin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We'll have seven mana. So next turn we'll have Sarkin and Vito up, which is insanely good if he doesn't if our opponent doesn't do anything. I don't know what our opponent's doing actually right now. So Dream Trawler, huh? Can we deal with this? So Dream Trawler is spooky, that's for sure. A little unfortunate, although we do get some opportunities to go shopping for Dream Trawler protection. There's another veto. Unfortunately, this is no good anymore, is it? Unfortunately, it's no good anymore. So, let's go shopping once more. Another Narset, okay. So we play this. We play this. We still have Dovin's Veto up in case he does something dumb. He takes... Oh, interesting. Let's make dragons here, actually. this Maybe this is wrong, but... I've got Dovin's Veto... ...and a lot of dragons, so he can't actually attack with this. And we'll just wait until we build a board big enough to deal with him. And if he wants to run his Dream Trawler into us, that's fine. He can't draw more cards. Do I care if Sarkin dies here? Yes, maybe? Let's veto this.
Alright, it's a really fascinating game so far. Not a temple of triumph, you fool! Okay, so we can hit him pretty hard right now. Let's play this first. No, I don't think this helps me. So do we just attack with everything? Well, then we sac we'd sacrifice our Sarkin here. I don't think so. I think we have to play this first. Ooh, does he have a counter spell? Is that what he's holding? Nope. Uh, so let's go shopping. Let's go looking for something that deals with this. Oi. That's not good. So we're basically hoping our opponent doesn't find anything. We're looking for the one hit kill here. Boy, does he have removal for the Sarkin? That would be horrible for me. <laughs> Why did I plus the Sarkin? No attacks. How high can this thing go? Can it get make it to three here? Nope, can only make it to two. Okay, thank God. We have one turn to figure this out. One, two, three, four. We've got five of these things. This is, this is high. This is a high pressure game, right? So he's looking to this. He wants to bump this up to three because it would get rid of the Bone Crusher and Narset. Would get rid of Sarkin, but he and I are both in top deck mode here. This is interesting. It's only at two. Okay, doesn't help him yet. We still have the, we're still gonna have another Narset activation, hopefully, unless our opponent draws something incredible. Okay, that's not amazing. He doesn't get to draw a card if he bounces a dragon. Does protect him a little bit though. If he attacks, he'd have to sacrifice the Dream Trawler. God, we just need literally any anything to interact with this and we'll mostly win. Mostly win. Oy vey. He can't sack the Dream Trawler though. Maybe I should have just gone all in on that last turn. No. What is this card? I mean, we're mostly going to get rid of our three mana creatures this coming turn, so it's not a big deal, I guess. All right. Another Blast Zone, okay. So does he bring this up to five, or does he... I mean, he probably doesn't need to bring it up to five. It's not really going to matter. A War Boss. So much commotion. Before Is Teferi all I need? Does Teferi win this for me? I actually think it does. Oh, I think it does actually with the war boss. One damage off the war boss. Stop that. <sighs> Is this actually gonna work? Are we actually gonna win with the war boss? Is this war boss gonna give me one extra damage? Is this exactly, is this exactly what I needed? It's exactly 17. I think it might be actually. Four, four, eight, 12, 16, 17. Yep, <laughs> exactly 17. Oh my God. <laughs> oh man. I think we beat him, right? Actually, actually he could have lived there. He had the golden egg. He could have lived. Okay, I'll take it. That was pretty good. Wow. Whew. That was stressful. And that dream trawler comes down. I get stressed out. All right, well, that's where we're going to call it. No baby awake yet. Apparently my wife told me he was moving around, but that's all right. Okay, have a good one, everyone. I hope you enjoy your Friday, and I will talk to you soon. Goodbye.